Okay, matrix logic example two, outdoor barbecue. Tom, John, Fred, and Bill are friends whose occupations are, in no particular order, a nurse, a secretary, a teacher, and a pilot. They attended a church picnic recently, and each one brought his favorite meat, which were hamburger, chicken, steak, and hot dogs to barbecue. From the clues below, determine each man's name, occupation, and favorite meat. We can see that this is three categories. Now when we read our clues, notice that they often give us clues that only compare two categories at a time. So Tom is neither the nurse nor the teacher. Fred and the pilot play golf together. The burger lover and the teacher hate golf. Tom brought the hot dogs. Bill sat next to the burger fan and across from the steak lover. And the secretary hates golf. So if you recall, we have to create our grid or grids for a problem with three categories. So that would look like this, in which I've just brought up. So as we go through this, we're going to be reading the clues and filling in X's and O's where we can eliminate or find an answer. The other thing I mention is you should always have a category called notes, and that would be for anything in a clue that won't help us immediately but might help us later. So let's go through. Tom is neither the nurse nor the teacher. So I find Tom here, and I know he's not the nurse, and I know he's not the teacher. So I can cross those boxes off. Fred and the pilot play golf together. Well, if Fred and someone else play golf, which is a pilot, then I know Fred is not a pilot. And the burger lover and the teacher hate golf. Well, those are two different people as well. So I know that the teacher does not like burger. Now there's a lot of statements in here about golf, so maybe that would come in handy later. So I'm going to write down a few clues. Fred and the pilot like golf. I also know that the burger lover and the teacher don't like golf. Now I'm not sure how this is going to help me later, but I can figure out a few things right here. The burger lover is one person, the teacher is one person, the pilot is one person, and Fred is one person. Those are all different people. So I can now determine that Fred does not like burgers. So I go to Fred's column, I follow it down until I get to burger, and I cross it off. I also know that Fred is not a teacher. So I find teacher and Fred, and I can cross that off. I also know that the pilot is not the burger lover. And lastly, I know that the pilot, um, well, is not a teacher, obviously. Okay, I believe those are our clues there. Let's keep going. The next clue tells us Tom brought the hot dogs. So I follow Tom's column down. I put an O for hot dogs. Now remember, that means I can X off everything in that category that's connected to it vertically and horizontally. Next, I see that Bill sat next to the burger fan and across from the steak lover. What does that tell me? Well, that tells me that Bill is not a burger fan, and he's also not a steak fan. And if we look at this column for Bill, we see that there's only one spot left, which is chicken. Once I put an O, I can cross off other things vertically and horizontally. If I look down Fred's column, there's only one spot left. So I can fill that in. And finally, here. So we now know all the meats that the gentlemen like. Let's keep reading. The secretary hates golf. Well, I know that over here, the secretary does not like golf. And I also know that the burger lover hates golf and the teacher hates golf. Well, the secretary can't be the teacher. So now I know 
that the secretary must be the burger lover. Well, I know that John likes burgers from this O here. So John must be the secretary. So we put an O there, and again, don't forget, you can fill in X's horizontally and vertically. And this is going to start allowing us to solve some more. In the teacher row, I see there's only one spot left. And finally, we can eliminate and solve for the remaining. Even though we have a section here that doesn't have some clues in it, in here, that's okay. We just leave those blank. And now it's time for me to summarize my answer. So as I read through the grid, I find a person's name, Tom. I find out that they like hot dogs. And I also find out that Tom is the pilot. So I summarize all that together. I find that John likes hamburgers, and John is the secretary. Next, Fred, he's the steak lover, and he's also the nurse. And lastly, I've got Bill, who likes chicken, and he is the teacher. Once again, please put some kind of box or circle around your answer so it's easy for me to find.